Hey everybody and welcome back. I hope you can hear my sweet boys singing in the background. They're happy because I'm making them some more toys today. Now most of this you can either find around the house or you can find very easily at the Dollar Tree. Um, so let me tell you quickly what we have and a, a couple things you can buy if you really want to. All right. First thing, remember, we have that natural jute cord. Okay, you do not want anything but natural. And I have made a lot of things with this. Got this at the Dollar Tree. I'm still using it. I cannot tell you how many toys I've made. I made swings. I've made ladders. All kinds of stuff. It lasts forever. Then I found these really cute little three-pack of these little duckies in the baby section. And I thought this would be really cute. Just They're not really going to chew on this or anything. It's just more because it's really cute. I took a bottle cap just off of a Pepsi bottle and I drilled a hole in it. You could string these together, one up, one down. You could put beads in there. The birds love to clunk these together. Not necessarily chew them, but when you put a bunch together, they make noise. I'm going to maybe use a couple pony beads. Remember, I got that big pack. You can see it on one of my previous videos. Um, there's quite a few. I think there was like 300 in that pack. And I have some plastic paper straws. I prefer paper. This will work with the plastic, but you have to be very careful because the little birds can get tangled in them and get, you know, hung up. They can in the paper as well. These do not go in their cage. I use these out on their play set because I'm always home when they're out on their play set. And to make these, if you do not want to spend a lot of money at first, this is a paper straw that's been put through. I got a 12-pack of pencil sharpenies, these kinds that kids use in school. They go dull pretty quick. Some of them work. Some of them don't work. So, you know, pick up what you can. This makes a kind of a large curl. And if you want a small curl like this, once you decide if your birds really like this, it's something you have to order. I picked this up off of Amazon. I'll show you how they both work. It's called a Wacky Whirly. And basically, it's adjustable and you can make different size. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to recommend this right away because I've already had to send the first one back. After the third paper straw, the first one quit working. So don't run out and get it right away until I make sure that this is a good deal. I'd rather you spend your money at the Dollar Tree and buy the 12-pack or whatever of the cheap. I mean, they're not expensive. They're under $6, but... It is what it is. I don't know if I can recommend it yet. I also have, to string these things together, I have my, this is a doll needle. You just need something with a very large eye that your thread is going to go through or your jute twine. And it's not necessary, but I had to put an order into Chewy, so I picked up some of these. They're called Super Critter Creations. These are um, Sola sticks and stuff. My birds love to chew these apart, and th th it'll last like 20 minutes once they get onto it. But you could use, um, uh, I use the, <laughs> I'm losing my mind right now, the kebab pieces. Those work. Instead of this, you could use cupcake liners that will look really pretty on there. You just, you could cut them to look, you know, kind of, and they'll love to shred those apart. You could use just the bottle cap. You don't have to have that. It's just something I was going to add for my conure that will reach up a little bit higher. So let me get started on showing you what you need. And I'll show you how the straw things work. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. I'm just going to very quickly thread my... This is why you need a wide eye because this string is, you know, a little bit thicker. It's it's a braided or twisted together string. Just going to set this aside. This is going to go through. I've already kind of punched a hole through my little ducky head here. If I could find where I put the hole in. Mm -mm. Okay, wait. It's, I'm close. 
Okay, I have a little hole right there that I'm going to pull everything through and use this to hang it up. But let me show you the straws real quick. I use, like I said, I, I prefer the paper, but you can use any. So find your little pencil sharpener. The hardest part, I would say, of the whole thing is just getting it started. You, you put it in like you do a pencil. Now, I have a lot of arthritis in this thumb. That's why I bought that other thing. So I'm going to hold it kind of strange, but you just slowly start twisting it. Now, this one's nice and sharp. It's doing well. And you can see that your straw just turns into a nice little curl. It only takes a few seconds. It's not going to be as perfect as my other one, but you know what? My birds don't care. They just like to be able to chew them apart and pull on them and they climb on them, you know, because I have two budgies and I have my, my baby Conyer doesn't play a lot with toys yet. It likes chewing up little pieces of cardboard and things like that, but it's getting to the point where it'll chew up like paper doilies and my cupcake papers that I like to, or cupcake flowers that I make. Okay, now when you get to the end, you're going to have a little problem, and I just break it off, pull out that little extra piece. And what I do with the, I, this is pretty short, but I save these little pieces and I'll put it in the forage box for the babies. And they like to have things, I put seeds in the bottom, crinkle paper, and then I add things that make it a little bit harder for them to dig through once they know what a forge box is. They'll take these and they'll throw them out and play with them and chase each other around and stuff like that. So anyway, here is our first one. And you can see it went really fast. And I'll show you real quick how this one works. Like I said, this one, I'm not sure yet. I've had a few problems with it already on certain straws. You want to get it started. It does help with my arthritis, so I have to admit, because right now my thumb is really hurting. And I get it started so that I can see it popping out, and then all you have to do is spin it. So I don't have to grip it so hard with the arthritis. And it'll go down, and you can adjust them. I found I didn't, um, it didn't work as well when I adjusted it. It's kind of like the factory setting is where it needs to be. But it does make a really nice, clean spiral. And as you can see, yes, my right hand, I am gripping it a bit. But my left hand, I don't have to. And that's the little coil that it makes. So, you know, like I said, for under $6, I think it was 5 something I got it on sale for $4 and some 77 cents or something. Now, this one... You're, I'm not sure how well it's going to work because this is where I've had a problem. You're supposed to hold it in place and spin it until it breaks off. Oh, that worked this time. And then I have a little piece of straw. Again, I can use these in toys. I can run a thread through this way. I can run it like this, like a bead, and on my string, and it works out really well. Okay? So, I have my spring. And I open them up a little bit because the birds like it that way. The other one I don't have to, but these ones I do. Like I said, this is a lot neater looking, but the birds don't care. They really don't. So I'm going to go and finish a couple more straws just so I have enough. And then I'll be right back. Okay, that only took a couple of seconds. So anyway, I'm going to take this back out for a second because I'm basically going to start with tying my straws together. Now these ones I'm going to leave kind of longer, but don't don't worry, you could cut them in half. You can that way you get more out of each straw. These I'm just going to fold over like this or cut them either way, you can do it depending on how well you want them to spring together. I just kind of make a big cross in the middle when I'm doing certain kinds like these skinny ones here. You can see, okay, and you could take those fatter ones and just cut them 
because we're going to tie these together to go inside that button. So I really don't need the, the needle yet, but I'm going to take these and I'm going to figure out how I want them to go. Just going to make a, I think I'll use the big ones on this one. Let's tie them together since this is something you probably would start with. We'll just do these big ones. Just get them all in your string. And that's why I use the button. It kind of, I mean the uh, bottle cap, kind of holds the, the mess or whatever you want to call it so you don't see it as much. I want a couple of these are getting up there too much. I don't want to lose that much because I'd have to cut them off to make them look nice and neat. So let's get them lined up here. Remember, these are not huge birds. These are budgies and a little conure. Um, obviously, if you have a very large bird, I'm going to get frustrated here in a second. You, you know, they're not going to last very long for you, but for the smaller birds, these are great. <laughs> and it's a little fiddly, as you can see. It's not that big of a deal. Wrap it around once. Get them all tied up in there. Tie a knot. I'm having a hard time with this thumb of mine. Doesn't want to tie up things very well. Oh, one fell out. No big deal. Tie it back in if you want it. Remember, these are for birds. They don't care what they look like. They just like to have lots of toys that they can play with. Tie them nice and tight. Let's see if I can get the nice tight knot here. All right, so now you have all your little springs going this way and that way. Anything that's too long, snip it off, save it for your forage box. If you want to see what a forage box is, I'd be happy to show you. There, It's just things that the birds really love to dig through to find things like seeds. It's the healthiest way to give them seeds because they have to work for it in the wild. All right, so there is my straws through the bottle cap. And basically it just holds those funny ends that make it a little more aesthetically pleasing for us humans. The birds don't care. And then if you want, just to make it a little cute, you could add a pony bead or two or three, however many you like. I like to do it just to separate the different components. Now remember, you have this little piece of straw or even smaller, you could put something like this on there instead of a pony bead. You can cut the straws. This is that sola piece, not necessary. They love, oh, I might as well put one there. My birds love cardboard. Just a chip of cardboard I cut in an odd shape. Let's put another pony bead just to separate it. Now I'm going to add the sola piece. It's already got a hole in it when I got it. Remember, I got these from Chewy. They were somewhere around $4, I believe, and it came with that whole bag. And I could stop right here. You don't even have to get those little duckies. You got some straws, bottle caps, some pony beads, cardboard. You could add more cardboard. And then I could put my... I'm going to put a bead because I like to have it separated. And I took... I'll take this one. I'll show you something else I have. This is a wooden bead that I got. Again, these I get. you get natural wood ones. I put it in food coloring like you would color frosting for a cake. I painted it on a little bit, or you could soak it in them, and then you just rinse them off, and now it's bird safe to chew on because it's natural food coloring. So I'll put that cute little bead right there. Now I'll go through my ducky. I didn't put I didn't drill a hole I just used my needle if you have something you could poke through it and then I will just pull my ducky through and I will tie a knot at the top let me get this stuff out of the way and now we have our cute 
ducky toy that can hang in my bird cage and they have this to chew on the straws they can chew on the cardboard and they can chew on that sole a piece and as you can see it went together pretty quick maybe 10 minutes if i wasn't you know diddling around and showing everything but there you go a simple inexpensive bird toy and when they're done chewing them up save the parts anything that's left over can always be reused so there you go i hope you enjoyed this cute little video and you guys have a wonderful day